Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Twilight. For days, solar astronomers have been monitoring a behemoth prominence on the sun's southeastern limb. Eduardo Shabaga Popo was watching yesterday when the International Space Station flew by. The ISS is gone now, and so is the prominence. It erupted during the late hours of September, 24. SOHO coronagraphs show ACME emerging from the blast site. The storm cloud will not hit Earth. Two CME can be observed on this LASCOC2 filter. Both are from the 24th. I'll add the LASCOC3 filter, so the last CME can be tracked, as it expands out through space. Mercury, and Venus can also be observed as they make their orbit, around the Sun. The Sun is at one focus. The planet follows the ellipse in its orbit, meaning that the planet-to-Sun distance is constantly changing as the planet goes around its orbit. A close encounter with Jupiter. Jupiter is about to have its closest encounter with Earth in 59 years. On Monday, September 26, the giant planet will be just 591 million kilometers away. Yes, that really is close. Look for Jupiter rising in the east at sunset, shining four times brighter than Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. Through a backyard telescope, it looks like this. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Yeah.